What's up everybody? We're in central Idaho, right off of US 95, and uh, we're gonna be looking at some interesting road cuts that you can find in Roadside Geology of Idaho. So this one has some serpentine, and it's pretty nice looking stuff. Let's uh, go check some of it out. Well, first off, it's a pretty impressive road cut. Here's a piece of serpentine that I grabbed from over there. And uh, there's some blocks along the road that probably fell and road crews moved them over here. And this is actually a pretty interesting road cut. So uh, serpentine and the talc that's here formed underwater in the ocean and then was pushed up onto an island out in the, you know, the Pacific Ocean at some point and got smashed onto the west coast of North America. So uh, it's got an interesting story, this uh, serpentine. You can see right there, there's a nice big green band there. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna run across the road here and uh, show it to you and maybe grab a couple of good chunks. And then we'll head on to the next road cut. You can really see right there that big green slab. That's a nice big piece, but in general down here, there's lots of good looking pieces. Like, That's a cool piece of serpentine. So is that. Now, this stuff is very blue. At least uh, to my eyes, it looks pretty blue. I have uh, some good uh, bright green serpentine, but this is, uh, this is also pretty neat. Look at that. That's kind of like very polished, almost. Uh, I guess that's the talc. There you go. Look at that. That's the talc right there on there. That's a very cool piece. I'll be, I'll make a little pile here maybe. And uh, this probably will be a, a quick one since I don't really particularly enjoy these road cuts, but it's still fascinating geological history. So this piece I have right on top here, you can really see the streaks of talc in it. Very cool. And uh, well, the view out here is incredible. Dog agility. So right there, we're north of the Gough Bridge. That's the Salmon River. This is the next road cut. This is the next, oh my God, I can't talk. I can't say the word cut. This is the next road cut. And I just scurried across and you can kind of see that big green outcropping. What is, what is that, Sarah? What's that outcropping? Peridotite. Yeah. Peridotite, and what does the book say about it? It's a dense rock composed mostly of black augite and little green crystals of olivine, the most abundant rock in the earth, the kind of rock that forms most of the mantle. So I ran over there and grabbed a piece of it, and you can kind of see there's some like little crystalline structure in that, and all these little specks, I guess, are the uh, augite. So that's kind of neat. It's a cool little stop off. It's neat to investigate all the road cuts. There's also this big chunk right here, which is pretty cool. You can kind of see some of it in here. Pretty neat. And uh, yeah, the Salmon River. Well, we got three more stops to go to, huh? Yeah. Yeah, three more stops. On to the next road cut. So kind of up here at this, not really, a, it's a little bit of a road cut. You have all of this slate, and apparently there's supposed to be pyrite here, most of which has been converted over to lemonite. Uh, so looking for kind of little black cubes in the slate, poking around, I have yet to find any, but it's still pretty interesting to look at here. Uh, might have to get out the rock hammer. You can kind of see that quartz, quartz band in there. That's cool. Uh, if I do find any, they're probably gonna be small and uh, might be 
not too great of a sample. Apparently, from what I'm seeing, more difficult to find than not. But I'm going to walk a little further down here and maybe, maybe I'll come across some and I'll show you. Definitely some cool quartz here. That's pretty pure. Kind of neat. I don't really care a whole lot about quartz, though. I want to look at that slate down there. It's probably pretty hard to see, but you can see there's some little cubes right there. Not too impressive. Maybe it could come across some bigger samples here, but it's definitely here. There's that one. You can kind of see in some of this that it's around. Um, not really too amazing. There we go. There's some pieces. I guess that would be a piece. Uh, I might take just a couple little samples here, but maybe there's better stuff down there. So which came first, the slate or the quartz? Because it looks like you have a seam of quartz here between two pieces of slate. Also right here. Which in a way, that's kind of cool. So maybe I take that, I'll take a couple of these little pieces right there. Let's look at this uh, slate up in here. Interesting stuff. I'm not seeing much. What is here is very low quality. Well, still kind of a cool road cut. And, uh, you know, if you're here, swing by. There's a GPS link down in the description box below. And if you find this type of content entertaining, please, uh, you know, leave a comment, throw me a like, subscribe, those things. And uh, I appreciate it, you know. Seeing it, seeing this piece here, that almost looks more like uh, calcite than uh, quartz. I said quartz earlier. I don't really know until I can kind of go home, I'll scratch test it and all of that good stuff. But I think uh, time to head on to the next road cut. I may have lied just a little bit. We're a couple miles off of US 95 up here at this road cut where you can get zeolites. It's pretty, eh, well, zeolites, well, you'll see here. Zeolites are very fragile and you do need rock hammer to get these guys but that white stuff is the zeolite and it's all up in here so let's scurry up this there you go you can kind of see some of the zeolite crystals and some of it will be very fragile they always are but let's Grab like that piece right there. You can kind of see some of that. The, this piece is pretty good. And uh, I, hey, I didn't have to swing the hammer at all. So, uh, hey Sarah, I got an excellent little piece surface picked. So, um, whoa, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. oh, I just filled my shoe. Well, uh, you get the picture. Um, Anyways, there's some little pockets up in here, and uh, maybe I'll try to scurry back up and... There we go, there we go. Look at that, look at these. So, let's do a little chipping away and see if we can't get some of this stuff out without smashing everything. Oh, you get the picture. Anyways. Oh, uh, well, we got one more to go to, huh? Yeah. 
One more. The second I start recording, our dog starts hooting and hollering. But we're at this road cut right here. And uh, you can get little leaf fossils, which is pretty cool. Sarah already found a couple of these little tiny guys. We're gonna try to find some bigger ones. Uh, this is a lot. Hmm. This is very similar to some of the Eocene leaf fossils that you can get outside of Spokane, Washington. And the best way to do this is to use a butter knife. And uh, you just kind of find a, a place and start, yeah, like that right there, and start splitting. And hey, there we go. Is that? No. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, right there. You can think. see that leaf, leaf fossil. These things are very fragile. And I mean, to be totally honest, not super exciting but it's pretty pretty cool still um only what five five miles five miles off of us uh 95 but still pretty neat anyways hope you enjoyed all of the road cuts and all of the interesting material that you can find here so uh as always thanks for watching